Hello people, in this video let us look at the spot map or shaded map. Okay, where are we in community medicine or preventive or social medicine? In this if they ask you a question what is spot map or shaded map, then you have to write this. So basically in epidemiological studies uh, you have seen um, descriptive studies, right? Under descriptive studies you have, you will define the population to be studied, you will uh, define the disease, you can describe the disease by time, place, person, etc. Here, where we are, you know, here, place, place distribution of the disease, epidemiological study, place distribution of the disease, okay. So, you want to study the place distribution of the disease. So, basically, under place distribution, that is geographical comparisons, you have international variation, national variation, rural, urban variation, local variation. This is where spot map comes. Spot map or shaded map comes where in local distribution of the disease, local variation, you have the spot map, spot map or shaded map. Okay. Spot map or shaded map. Look at an example here. This is a spot map of Asiatic cholera in London. Okay. So they have done some marking here. Location of pumps, fatal cholera cases, etc. So basically... <coughs> For city, okay, for a city variation, local distribution of disease, inner and outer city variations. Here, what in all you will say, areas of low frequency, high frequency of the disease. You can understand the boundaries of this uh, uh, disease, right? A clustering of the disease, source of the disease. So basically, the best example you will give here is John Snow, the scientist in 1854. He showed this cholera, okay, in Golden Square district of London. There was a common water pump, something like that, okay. So, this is the local distribution of disease. You can apply it to so many diseases, yellow fever um, or um, AIDS also. So, uh, everything, right? You can apply it to so many diseases. This is an epidemiological study. So, did you understand what spot map is? If they ask you spot map or shaded map in the example, remember uh, epidemiological study, descriptive study, uh, place distribution of the disease in that local variation, local distribution. And uh, you can see the variations within the city, high frequency, low frequency areas, the boundaries you can see, clustering of disease cases you can see, source you can try to identify. Example, John Snow, 1854, cholera, golden, golden square district of London, common water pump. So here, spot map of Asiatic cholera in London, location of pumps, boundary, location of fatal cases, etc. So, basically, he said that he proved, he came to hype, he came to the hypothesis that, what is the hypothesis he arrived at? Cholera is a waterborne disease. Finally, he came to that conclusion. That's a nice thing, right? Cholera is a waterborne disease. He came to that hypothesis. He said, co what common water pump in Broad Street. So much detail is there in the textbook. Broad Street. Okay. Meet you in the next video. Bye-bye.